good morning uh, so far army personnel are concerned army includes uh, army naval and air force employees uh, crpc uh, 475 deals with uh, persons belonging to uh, army navy and air force and uh, being tried by them under army act navy act and air force act there is a process of court martial proceedings and so on that provision is there uh, the if they seek a request that actually should be transferred to martial court but here uh, a fantastic case which is shocking maybe this is a single incident and i do not know how many incidents are happening and how many incidents are not being brought to the notice of the courts this is ar 2022 supreme court 5626 ar 2022 supreme court 5626 ic 5663x call call means call on anil kumar Uh, Union of India. Mm. Uh, the, the problem was actually uh, uh, the the person Colonel Anil Kumar uh, was serving as a commissioned officer in the Indian Army, 14th Battalion of Rajputana Rifles Infantry. Uh, his co close friend and colleague of the appellant wrote a letter to brigadier ajav vig he where in he says that uh, uh, the officer uh, sending innocent message to my wife which sexually explicit nature and there is reasonable cause to believe that they have indulged in legitimate physical relationship my wife Sugandhi Agarwal has been equally involved as reciprocal passivity to this message. The officer was in my, visited my house in Delhi on 30th June 2000 after lying to his wife about some official social engagement and was present there from uh, 20 30 hours for uh, approximately 2 hours. This is what they say the complaint receiving upon the complaint he should understand what were the procedure of the army so that you can understand this law also if you are about to write examination there the, 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 the there was an, a court of inquiry conducted at a headquarters delhi and complaint was inquired into they finalized the complaint on 11/11/2006 to initiate disciplinary proceedings against the appellant here after hearing the charge in terms of army rule directions were given for recording summary of evidence on completion of summary of evidence a prima facie case was made out against appellant accordingly charges were framed against appellant with regard to he having behaved in a manner unbecoming his position and character aspect of him under section 45 of the army act so charge sheet was filed on 1911 2018 then the appellant wrote a letter uh, to the convening authority the convening authority is also there therefore he says the the, the charge sheet is barred by limitation after uh, deeply discussing about that uh, the uh, supreme court held that uh, yes uh, from the date of letter addressed by the aggrieved person the 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 cognizance happens to be taken prior to 3 years from the date of complaint therefore since the complaint was the 13 year 2015 and the convening authority directed the trial on 22 11 it was barred by limitation under 122 of that however the supreme court has said Uh, review 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 of judicial judicial review is not available for departmental proceedings therefore 
they permitted the military higher officials to proceed with the departmental entry. So go through this judgment and also understand actually what is happening and also go through the provision 174 uh, CRPC if any military personnel is uh, arrested what to do what not to do and uh, there is a provision corresponding provision wherein it was stated that uh, offense committed during active service or non-active service and offenses punishable with uh, a lesser punishment happens punishment, graver punishment uh, all are all there still the court martial uh, the military official can uh, uh, can request the court the uh, ordinary criminal court to uh, forward the accused to court martial i hope you understand the best wishes